do you have a Janome 15,000, 14,000, 9450, 9400, and you're still a little concerned about your tension settings? Watch this video and see how easy it is to fine tune your tension and not have to worry about putting it back when you're done. All right, so here you can see the screen on the 9450, the Janome 9450, and you can see that I am in my ruler work mode. Down here is my tension and my foot height, and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So it's showing 4.6, and when I open it up, I can see a little bit better about is it on default tension, which would be the auto, or have I messed with the tension? So here you can see it's saying auto, and the little teardrop right there is an indicator that is on the default or the automatic setting. So let's just suppose that I am using a thread that is heavier on the top and a finer thread in the bottom, and I just want to fine tune it. Maybe I'm a little bit new to free motion quilting, let's just say, and my top thread is getting pulled to the back because my hands aren't real smooth. I might want to go ahead and increase my top tension in order to make that stitch more balanced. So I'll go up here and I'm pressing on the plus and just to make a bigger jump. So on, when it was on auto, it was 4.6. We're gonna to go to 6.0. That's probably a big jump, but I just want you to be able to see that. Uh, if I just did a subtle one, you wouldn't see it move so much. So the blue line has moved over to the right and you're seeing that it is beyond the automatic setting. So when I do this in a stitch, it does not stay that way, okay? If I change to another stitch, it changes, all right? So to show you this, I'm going to go ahead and put this back down. And I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the decorative stitches button. Now I've got my straight stitch needle plate on, so it's only showing me a few stitches. But I'm just going to go ahead here and go to the quilt section. And it's telling me to make sure I have the proper presser foot on. But I'm just, I'm just going to pick a stitch that I know is not the same stitch. And if you look at it, here I've got my stitch width, my stitch length, got the arrow, so I'm going to pull that back up. Right up here at tension, look, this stitch has an automatic setting for 3.4. Remember, the ruler work had a setting of 4.6, and we moved it all the way to 6.0. This stitch now has a setting of 3.4. This machine is really smart. It knows what to set the tension for every different stitch. So now, what happens if we go back to our ruler work? So I'm going to put that back down. We're going to go over here to our t-shirt icon, going over to the quilting tab, and we're going to turn that page to get over here to the ruler work. And now it's set back for ruler work quilting and look right here 4.6 so let's bring that up so we can see it a little better we're back on auto because we didn't save that tension adjustment all right i hope this takes some of the fear out of oh i messed with my tension and i don't know how to put it back you don't have to put it back if you're doing it within these individual stitch settings so what if Oh, what if I am doing a bunch of stitching with a different thread combination and I always want it to have that adjusted tension? Um, maybe I'm an art quilter and I'm using a lot of heavy thread, or maybe I'm a fine heirloom quilter and I'm using a lot of silk thread and I feel like the automatic settings just are not working for me. What can I do to make it so I don't have to adjust it all the time? And that would be going up here to your settings. Well, first we're going to put that down. We're going to go into our settings. And in our sewing machine side of things, well, this is the sewing machine side, right here we've got auto tension. 
if we change our tension here in the settings menu, settings menu, it's going to stay adjusted. Each stitch is going to have its own settings, but we're, we can change the master tension. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So if you want to change it and keep it changed for everything, change it in your menu under the settings. If you want to keep it changed just for one stitch, maybe some of the decorative stitches or uh, blanket stitches, something like that, it's going to go back to its default position after you're done with that stitch. So I hope this helps and takes some of the fear out of tension adjustment. Thanks for watching. This is Amy from amyquilts.com and So Simple of Lynchburg. Bye-bye.